Hi, um, I'm just recording this because I was uh, asked about um, what well, someone had an issue with forward rendering using my characters for a VR project. Um, so I'm just going to look into it and um, show you how you can fix the issue. So I'm just going to add this character to my project from the marketplace. made this project, it's VR test UE5. Okay, so that's added the folder to the project and I'm just going to go in here and go to demo so that I can open the maps. I'll try a showcase. Okay, I'm just going to make sure that forward shading is turned on. So edit project settings Search for forward shading and it is on. So the first thing that happens is that the project needs to prepare um, a bunch of shaders that are uh, just associated with this project. So at the moment it's on 1%. Um, you have to wait for this bar to be finished. Um, so I'm going to check back when it is. One important thing to actually note is that uh, the skin, it will never look correct in a new project unless you go into edit, project settings, you open this window and search for virtual texturing. So here, virtual textures, uh, you must enable virtual texture support. I'm guessing since this is a VR project, you also probably want to enable virtual texture support on mobile. So now I've enabled virtual texturing in the project. There's actually one more setting that needs to change with the skin. It seems that this is specific to forward rendering. And I actually want the master material because I want to change some main settings. You can just go to the the folder here um, by navigating to content, Xandra, master, material, skin. And then we want to open M skin. Double clicking on this one, it's like a web of information, but the setting that we're looking for is just up here. This, this one seems to be the culprit. So you just want to change the sample source from texture to shared clamp click save. Um, I'm going to first just try removing some parameters from the skin. So for example, I'm going to remove the scatter. Um, that will so stop subsurface scattering in case um, if I'm not sure if that's a problem for VR. Oh, but it looks like it's working. So it's really so it looks like the problem is that forward rendering probably doesn't accept subsurface scattering. So if you have this problem in your project for forward rendering, please just double click on the line from subsurface scattering and press delete to just disconnect it um, from the main node in mSkin. Press save, and then now you can see that the skin's working. So uh, it's probably just not supported for VR. Now all of the material should look fine. There we go.